my name. Zergun Mehmet Janer. Zergun Mehmet Janer. I came to this country to be, for lack of a better term, a missionary to you. My father was a muazin in a mosque, and he was an architect, and so we came to America to build mosques here. My father was a muazin in a mosque. My father was a muazin in a mosque. I have never worn my laundry on my head. It's called a gefia. No, I never did drive a taxi. I have never worn a silk shirt open to my navel with gold chains dangling in the midst of the chest hairs and going up to people saying, hello, beautiful woman, come with me. Come on, I'll give you 10 camels for the woman. Come with me. That was a devout Muslim. Here's what I mean. There is no one, and I mean no one, not a mosque, not an imam, not the uh, mullah, not the nuliman. No, no one can say I, they speak for all of Islam. We meet on Fridays, uh, the Jews in the synagogues, synagogue on Saturdays, the Christians on Sundays, but we Sunagoge, Sunagoge, on Saturdays, the Christians on Sundays, but we, Jumyat prayer, that's Jumyat prayer, that's the big day. We go to the masjid, that's the mosque. We go to the Islamic center if it doesn't have one. We, and we begin our prayer, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdu ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You see us putting our foreheads to the ground? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Malik yawm al-Din But supposedly, on Muhammad's 40th birthday, he had a, uh, a convulsion, a seizure. At the very beginning of the hadith, that's the recorded sayings of Muhammad, it says that Muhammad rolled on the ground and uh, roared like a lion, foamed at the mouth, and when he comes out of the seizure, the hadith records that he rolled around and roared like a camel and almost swallowed his tongue. At the very beginning of the hadith, that's the recorded sayings of Muhammad, it says that Muhammad rolled on the ground and uh, roared like a lion, and roared like a camel, and uh, roared like a lion, and roared like a camel, and foamed at the mouth. And when he comes out of the sea, we are invested in what is called shahada. That's the creed, the kalima. It is the first pillar of Islam. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his final prophet. Everything else after that, salat, zakat, swan, Prayer, fasting, almsgiving. Salat, zakat, swan. You have giving of one fortieth of your income, two and a half percent, which sounds good to some of us. It's a whole lot less than we have to give in our churches, which sounds good to some of us. It's a whole lot less than we have to give in our churches. Most of us don't act out of rage, we act out of desperation. Our culture, our foods, we, we live and die by these rules that, that dictate to us. Halal and haram, the dietary restrictions, I live this devoutly.
you have to realize that for many of us, faith in Christ means losing our family, our friends, our homes, our jobs, our country, our culture, and some of us, our lives. They didn't mock me. They didn't make fun of my accent. After the service, the first service, Jerry dragged me to Pastor Clarence. He said, Pastor, Pastor, here, here he is. Like, like you got to point out the guy wearing the dress, right? He said, here he is. Clarence Miller said, boy, what you think about Jesus? Now, I want you to hear what I said because it's exactly what every Muslim says. Jesus, that's why they picked up stones to stone him. Jesus said he was God. You don't have to keep trying to atone. One of our leaders, Shabir Ali, the, the, the debater, is often famous for saying before he died, saying, that, that why would one man's death apply to anyone else? One of our leaders, Shabir Ali, the, the, the debater is often famous for saying before he died, saying, for saying before he died, saying, saying before he died, saying, saying before he died, saying, 